Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do unboxing Brass Bourbon Hand. Now it's two four players, 14 plus, 60 to 120 minutes. And so we're just going to jump right into the unboxing. Now this is a game I'm extremely excited about. It's highly ranked on BGG. It's a point style, I think, type of game. So that seems to be what we enjoy the most playing as a family. And it's very thematic. Okay. So here we have the front. There's not much design in the, in the sides, but there's the back. Okay, so we're just gonna put this right here in the center. Try to center everything. So we have little wind pieces. Looks like little barrels. Uh, here we have wind blocks, black and orange. And we have punch out with a number one. Looks like kind of uh, coins or something. A lot of zip locks. Here we have four different color uh, Little wind pieces. I'm guessing those are for each player because it's also indicated the same colors on this one. So you have your white, yellow, orange, and purple. Okay. And we have a deck of cards. I'll put this here. Let's move some of this stuff. I'm going to move some of this stuff because we're going to put that on top of this. And we will be looking through the cards after we're done with all the all this stuff. Here, let's see. I'll just put this aside. And we'll look at the boards. I think this is the player boards. Each player gets one, so. And I believe they're all the same. Yep, they're all the same. So there's four, for the four players. Um, let's see. So here we have the rule book. We'll be looking at that. So we have punch outs. We'll look at that. Okay. This is the main board. And it looks like it's double sided. It's nice when uh, companies make double sided boards. Okay. So here we have the top the black country 1770, 1870. So Warrington, Stafford. Here we have a little track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it looks like you put one pieces here. Here we have, looks like different elements of the game. I've not read the rule book, so I just know that this is more of a point style type game. You have to put the, uh, the symbols or the icons that are on these. Here we have some more icons. Here we have one, two, three, four. And we have a little track on the outer part of the board. Here we have three cards where you could add uh, decks, three spots. I'm gonna flip this. And it looks uh, quite the same. So here we have one, two, three, four. I'm wondering if the previous side, let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the same. Okay, so uh, I'm sure there's a difference, but I just don't know currently. 
so I haven't looked at the rule book or anything. Okay, so we're just gonna look at the punch out and then we'll look at the cards. Okay. So these are punch outs that come with the game. like the design and the coin design and everything. Okay. We're gonna look at the rule book. So industrial Re revolution, historical figures. Got Robert Owens, Elizabeth Tesley. So Richard Arkwright, James Watt. So we have board setup, player area setup, location banners, uh, playing the game, the goal rounds, playing turns, action list, end of round, end of era maintenance, and the canal and rail area, or yeah, and the canal era, win the game. Gameplay concepts, consuming goods, consuming iron, consuming beer, increasing your income, your network, connect the locations, build actions, and the top it says actions. Here are some more actions. Actions continue, sell action, location action, scout action, develop action, network action, and tips and variants. Things to remember, beginner's tips, understanding your network, and introductory game. Okay, so we're just going to open the deck. Okay, so looks like it comes with four player aids. Let me put this down. Um, one thing I do wish that the font was a little bigger on the player aids. I know that that means that they would have had to uh, make it a little bigger, but there's plenty of room in the box which would have allocated that. Okay, so those are the player aids, and each player gets one. Here's the back of the cards, they're all the same. So here we're gonna go through all the cards. I'll try to get as high as I can. I really like the design. It kind of sticks with that era. Now let's see. Um, yeah. I was trying to see if there's any icons on the bottom, right or left, to indicate how you play the game or um, this is a very complex game. So I think it's a four on BGG, so but there are many great videos to actually help with this, so it should be easy to learn. John Gets Games has a video on this. Watch it play. So, when those two uh, content creators are able to do it, it makes the game learning quite easy or easier. Um, so, that's everything that's included in Brass Birmingham. We'll be doing a playthrough review, and I'm gonna have a link of where to buy the game. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. My social media is going to be down below in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.